Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to make a wish list in a spreadsheet. And here's how you do it. You're going to go to your calendar, click on Davis, Graf, Stella, Rodrigo, Ransom, Snyder. Then when it comes up, it gives you the directions to read. You're going to click on wish list template. I'm going to click open, even though I will save it. You should be logged in as you. going to move this to where you can see it. Okay, first things first, where it says name, you're going to change it to your name. Then I'm going to press enter. Now you're going to be shopping today, so you're going to need the internet open on the bottom of the screen also. So I'm going to be going back and forth to that. Let's see if I can move this out of my way so I can see. I'm going to go ahead and open up explore underneath where I'm at and just use a window and you're gonna pick a store that has to do with what you want to do could be Walmart Target I'm just gonna go to Target I don't even Google for it I just click Target and then it's gonna come up eventually come on I'm going to go ahead and go down to Target.com and click it. I could have just typed that in. It could be on Walmart, Best Buy, any store. Now I'm going to look for an Xbox 360. That's what one of my kids wants this year. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, at the top. I could either just search for it, which is probably the easiest thing to do right now. So I'm going to click in Xbox. I could have typed in Xbox 360 or anything like that. And I'm going to find the one that I want. The particular one I want is the one that has uh, connect with it. I'm looking for a cheap one. This one looks like the games are a little too grown up for my kiddos. Don't want any mature items. That one's too expensive. Maybe this looks like a good one. It looks like kid games, possibly. So here's what you're going to do with it. You're going to write down the exact title. And if it has some sort of web ID or something, you're going to want to write that down, too. So I'm just going to go here and copy it. Right-clicked on it to copy. I'm going to go down to my wish list. I'm going to tape or paste that right in. I'm going to go back to where I had the internet open and I'm going to copy the price or maybe just remember it. $249.99. Let's see. And it was at Target. You're going to, if you want, you could also copy and, copy and paste a picture of it to put on here. So I could go right here, right click on it, um, copy, go back, put it over here somewhere, paste. And now it's making noise. I've got an ad going on. Inappropriate. Uh, well, it didn't copy my picture, but if you wanted to copy your pictures, you could either put them along the sides, try to keep it within D and E, or else it may not show up. And if you notice at the bottom, it is tallying this for us. In this assignment, you have a $500 limit. You're going to want to put some big things on your list, some little things on your list. Make sure you're very exact on how you list them and what store it came from, because this will be on your refrigerator. So when Granny calls your mom, and she might want something that's maybe a little cheaper, a little more. You want to have a good variety on your list to hang on the refrigerator. So once you have the list filled, and try to get as close to 500 as you can, then you'll see at the bottom it's totaled for you. I used a formula for that. And then you may print. So I'm going to go to File, Print. Mine looks different than yours. Not sure why. 
and you'll be able to go ahead and print this to hand in. I would log in as you to make sure that you can save this in case for some reason you don't finish it during this class period. And that is it. So let me go ahead and see if I can 